the third consecutive setback for Elon Musk's SpaceX. It's a Starship mega rocket tumbled out of control and eventually exploded upon reentry yesterday night. Jason Allen has the details. From the new officially named city of Starbase, Texas, SpaceX's Starship successfully lifted off, but flew into trouble minutes later. As the booster returned to Earth, a flash of flame erupted. People watching from Texas beaches could see the booster explode in the air. Then more problems showed up about 30 minutes into the flight. We did spring a leak in some of the fuel tank systems inside of Starship. Engineers lost the ability to control the Starship's movements, and it broke apart over the Indian Ocean. In January and March, the Starship came apart after launch, sending fiery debris raining over the Caribbean. Because of that, the FAA closed more than 70 air traffic routes during this launch, expanding a hazard area for 1,600 nautical miles. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. The Super Heavy Starship is the largest, most powerful rocket ever built by far. You know, they've got to get this spacecraft operating successfully. They have to launch multiple successful flights before anyone's going to put people on board. NASA is counting on a version of the Starship to carry astronauts back to the moon in 2027 earning $4 billion in contracts for SpaceX. And the Trump administration's new budget also introduced $1 billion in proposed investments focused on Mars. Before Tuesday's flight, Musk told CBS Sunday Morning's David Pogue he still believes the company is close to charting an uncrewed course to the red planet. If, if we're lucky, we've probably got about a 50% chance of sending ships from Earth to Mars at the end of next year. So November, December next year, in about 18 months. Wow. Is that... Realistic or is that Elon time? Um, well, I try to give the 50th percentile. Uh, you should expect half the time I'm wrong. It doesn't appear that the outcome of the flight is going to slow SpaceX down at all. The last few flights have been spaced about two months apart. Musk posted on X after the flight that he would like to speed that up with about three to four weeks now between flights if he can. Jason Allen, CBS News, Dallas.